Hello and welcome back to my channel. I would like to show you some new journals I made recently. Um, these are 21 centimeters by 18 centimeters wide with an eco print and some textile moths that I made from wool and linen and cotton paper. Uh, these are eco dyed fabrics which I stamped with some hand carved stamps of moths and um, this is really strong canvas five signatures and they are quite chunky as you can see here is a closure with some white eyelets everything is hand dyed everything is handmade um, thick of holstery fabric on inside and um, loads of pockets, vintage prints, tags, um, original papers, vintage papers from books. Uh, these are moths that I made for a 30 day challenge and I put some in the journals. Uh, they are made out of textile paper and sewing. I made all different tags, all sorts of stamping, glassine bags tags, tags, different kinds of papers, vintage prints and this is from a book to teach you typewriting. I copied out these papers. I've got all different pockets here. A hand dyed vellum, vintage book. Um, so Sir Walter Scott poems, vintage books, eco prints, pockets. These papers are original from vintage books and this is a drawing paper, 120 GSM and it's coffee dyed. There is loads of sewing, all different tags and stamping and different kinds of papers. Uh, cards, book pages, stamps. This is um, like an open envelope kind of thing for sending documents or newspapers, I'm not sure. Hand dyed glassine bag with um, office tag, that's in Czech language. Um, stamped and stickers this is vintage page from a book about mushroom mushrooms that's beautiful print and uh, tim holtz papers this is a um, cover for school book that i made this signature up from now this is um april in it holding page and all different kinds of papers and uh, yellow textbook paper loads of sewing loads of strings still attached tags stamping and stenciling this is um fabric pocket made out of linen that I block printed with blocks that I carved stamps if you you probably know what blocks are but they are like large stamps that I made myself and this is really sturdy pocket because I sewn it before I put it in the book uh, don't ask me how I bound it it was difficult now these paper, there is loads of spaces for, there is an old sewing book, loads of spaces for writing, loads of interest, loads of botanical interest, mushrooms, birds, insects, another of those stamped fabrics. This is really lovely scrapbooking paper with vintage prints of vegetables, mushrooms, all sorts of garden stuff. Here are uh, some prints from my vintage Brockhaus lexicons that I printed for you there. I love the color of them and the detailed 
vintage illustrations, cookbook. I included cookbook and embroidery book because they are really lovely papers and really vintage. This is a um, glassine bag with a vintage page from Observe's Book of Birds. Uh, no, I knew this will happen. Of course, I could do that after. This is from Brockhouse and Efron, Beatles, print of eggs, um, check, storage, inventory card. This is from German book about European animals, some crustaceans and uh, dragonflies. I think this book into sort of wild garden journal. Um, this is made out of some dry, dry plants I found and I put them between two thin pieces of paper. It was actually airmail paper when people used to write um, their letters on really thin paper so it's light for postage. That was like in maybe 70s. And, and then I put beeswax on it and ironed it together so I sealed the plants in between the two pieces of paper and then put card underneath it, framed it a bit, stamp, embroidery, dragonflies, loads of entomology, beetles, moths, you know I like moths and mushrooms, eco print, uh, some Brockhouse and Efron print of um, what are they? No, oh, I don't know. You know, those birds that drink from flowers. Nightingale? No. Um, now I can't stop thinking about it. Hummingbird. Um, Tim Holtz paper, vintage, uh, vintage print from book about edible plants. Vintage illustration page. Um, honeybee from Brockhouse and Efron. I love these colors and the scientific illustrations and bees. Vintage page. Oh, I dyed all these papers, hand dyed all these papers. That's an eco print. Hand dyed them myself. Green, orange, coffee dyed. Another poem from Sir Walter Scott's book. That's original vintage, about 100 years old. I don't know how old are books that don't have a date in them. Quite old, I suppose. So I don't want to lie, but um, yeah, that book doesn't have a date, it's so old. This is a pocket, some vintage moths and um, insect print, uh, trees, stamp. All the middles of the signatures are another handmade moth. This one is from tea, tea bags back paper, vintage print of daffodils. This is old Brockhouse and Efron print. Uh, well, the print is not old, it's a copy, but it's from a vintage print. And um, this is a bead. And then I want to show you how I finished all the signatures with little coffee dyed tags and stamping and stapled it together and glue. So you don't have strings hanging out with no finish on it. Vintage book about trees, another different paper. Vintage book about plants. Graph paper, dotted paper, drawing paper. These papers are so such a good quality and nice for drawing or painting watercoloring so there we go 
and the books are pretty much the same so this is one this is another one um, this is similar they have five signatures they are quite chunky and see this has got different moths and there is Oh, this one is lined with some coloring pages. So I'm not going to go detail through it because that's um, similar, different prints, different book pages, of course, because all the book pages are different, the original ones. Uh, some prints are same, but the book pages are all different because I've got all different books and I don't have them twice and these are different this is vintage book page as well this tag is made out of these end papers beautiful this one has got plants Tim Holtz papers Sorry, I'm going fast. I don't want this video to be too long because I've got another video to make. Okay. Um, eco print. Trees. Typewriter page. And this is the back, which is it's lovely green. That's how it came out on its own, just with leaves and plants. And then we have this one, some moths that I sewn and dyed, a paper moth, eco print, beautiful, um, five signatures and the back with some leaves and moths. Uh, okay, so that's the three books that I wanted to show you. And um, I'm gonna go and make another video um, of the other books that I made. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.